Now, the other reason Marx was wrong, there's a number of them, one is that even though creative products end up in the hands of a small number of people, it's not the same people consistently across time. It's the same proportion of people. And that's not the same thing. Imagine that there's water going down a drain, and you say, well, look at the spiral. It's permanent. You think, well, the spiral's permanent, but the water molecules aren't. They're moving through it. And it's the same in some sense with the Pareto distribution, is that there's a 1%, and there's always a 1%, but it's not the same people. The stability of it differs from culture to culture. Culture, but there's a lot of movement in the upper 1%, a tremendous amount of movement. And one of the reasons for that movement is that things get large, and then they get too large, and then they collapse. And so, in 2008, when the politicians said, too big to fail, they got something truly backwards, as far as I can tell. And that was, it was a reverse, the statement was reversed. It should have been, so big it had to fail. And that's what I think the story of the Tower of Babel is about. It's, it's a warning against the expansion of a system until it encompasses everything. It's a warning against totalitarian presumption 